Lefty, do not chew on the wiring. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey, good morning. So I want to show you what my daughter and I did yesterday. So the goal yesterday was to get the carpeting removed. The new carpeting is due to deliver today. Okay, Lefty. So Lefty wants to show you. So this is what the cab looks like currently. We're able to remove the old carpeting. Um, the doghouse is out. I'm going to give that a, a cleaning before I put it back in. Uh, we shampooed this filler strip. Um, that strip there was installed by the ambulance builder, so I believe that the new carpeting kind of ends right about here, because that's where the old piece was. So I'm assuming the new piece is gonna end right about there. So we shampooed that up, and it came out you know, good. I'm happy with it. We shampooed the headliner and my daughter did that came out much much better uh, the headliner is definitely worn um, starting to sag a little bit you know I can pop some glue up under there um, I just suggested to my daughter just to kind of stay away from this leading edge um, and then once she once she stayed away from this edge then she didn't have any more problems with it um, we gave the dashboard uh, a first wipe down. Um, what we were doing was we had a five gallon pail and we put some crud cutter in there, you know, diluted with water. And so we just gave it the first cleaning and it actually um, came out really nice. I mean, what we found out was, you know, there are no problems. This is the only damage that I can find on the whole dashboard is that little mark right there. So everything else cleaned up very well. Um, the doors, we did the same thing. We crud cuttered them and were able to get them from looking very, very funky to looking absolutely presentable. And I think one more cleaning, one more detailing will make them really pop. So what really came out great, you can see the door jams. This area down in here in the footwell, this was just packed with dirt. Um, you know, this was an Arkansas truck, and so there was all this red kind of dirt, kind of sandy, just really packed in here. Like when we first uncovered this footwell, it was there was no white showing at all. It was just all packed with dirt caked in there and so through some vacuuming and scraping and crud cutter that came out really nice so the the door jams themselves cleaned up really well you can see this door here it looks brand new basically and you know the truck is in really good condition as far as the, the metal and all that there's no there's no body rust and so what I'm doing today, like I said, the carpeting is due to deliver today. So what I'm going to do today on this bulkhead wall, I'm going to be installing the stick-on um, vinyl wood-looking planks. Same ones that we used uh, around the bed area in back. Um, we have more of them. And I thought about, you know, what would look good up here. And I said, you know what, let me just use them. They came out really nice. They're easy to put up. I'm good at it now. So all I'm going to have to do is just uh, trim for length because they're 36 inches long. They'll actually tuck up behind this molding. So that end will be hidden. And then I'll cut, cut all of them down here. I'd like to stagger them a little bit to give them a little more realistic look instead of all of them going from here to here. Lefty, do not chew on the wiring. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, he tests me. Tests me every day. He just has to lay in here when I'm working in the truck. So yesterday he laid down right where he is and rested his head on this wiring loom. This is the main disconnect that mounts to the side of the driver's seat 
and he's using it as a pillow. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get some cleaner. I'm gonna just wipe down this wall to get it clean. I'm gonna get my vinyl wood looking planks out here, my, my um, construction adhesive in the caulking gun, and I'm gonna get my razor blade tool and get this slapped up here it shouldn't take me very long at all okay
Okay, I am gonna go jump in the shower. I am cooked. Well, I think it came out very good. It looks better than I thought it would. It looks really great. Fit and finish is awesome. Uh, now I just gotta settle on the speaker mounts for the shelves for the speakers. The carpet just showed up. So I ordered this from Auto Custom Carpets. I'll have a link in the description. The color I went with, instead of getting just standard gray, I got what's called steel blue slash crystal blue. And I got their optional mass backing. Um, pretty much all of the companies that sell this aftermarket carpeting, they all offer that optional additional backing that you can put on them. They have different names for them. So anything that'll keep the sound down when I'm driving, because you know that power stroke is not the quietest engine that I've ever heard. In fact, it's got plenty of racket. So if that'll help quiet it down a little bit, that's great. So I'm gonna end this video here and go jump in the shower.